Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we have a package from Banggood and um, Banggood is the big boys toy store Chinese company which supply all the awesome toys that the um, grown-up man could wish for and today we're gonna have a look at a TV box and that's one of their specialties TV boxes, remote controlled cars, planes, drones, 3D printers, all that good stuff they kind of have all the good toys. So Banggood has reached out to me and asked if I would be so kind to show some of their products in one of my videos. And I have agreed. So they have sent me this TV box, which I have right here. So let's go to the table and see what's in the package. So here is the package. I have already had it just open. Um, I do get a lot of packages, so I needed to see what this was. So um, here it is. It's uh, wrapped well enough. Um, I had a little bit of a discussion with Banggood because, well, it's about a year since uh, I did the last little product review for them. And last year I, I had a Windows 10 uh, TV box tiny PC send over. And I was actually, um, I asked them if, if, they, um, if they had something new. And they did have something new, but none of it was in stock. So instead, the good representative at uh, Banggood suggested this uh, device, which I have right over here at the computer. It's an it's an H96 Pro Plus AIM Logic S912 octo core, three gigabyte of RAM, 32 gigabyte of ROM, TV box, and that's really eight cores in a TV box. That's amazing. That's that's a lot and this TV box should be able to handle 4k uh, it's not the first 4k TV box I have tried out and I'm gonna be trying this out and see I have a special film that none of the TV boxes has yet been able to play so um, in an upcoming video I'm gonna be trying that video on this TV box as well in this video I want to um, I want to showcase this and we're gonna try and connect it to my projector and see it um, see it do some picture on the wall so when we have the TV box here we have a little slot here for an SD card that's uh, I'm so guessing this is the front of the box you have it on the on your table or something and this is the front of the box on the side you have that SD card probably good for it can handle an SD card up to 32 gigabytes of uh, of storage popped in there you can you can have some amount of films on that i'm sure uh, let's uh, let's remove the plastic on this makes it look better awesome so that that's that slot then we have we have an ethernet port uh, one rj45 connector i'm not sure if this is 100 megabits or a gigabit uh, we'll have to see that when we test it out. Then we have an SP diff. This is an optical sound uh, in out port. I'm not sure if it's both ways, but it's there. Then we have a HDMI port. This is an HDMI 2.0 and it will be able to handle 4K up to 60 frames per second. Awesome. We have an AV out and we have the 5 volt connection to power the device there is also a power supply but before that we have two regular usb ports these seems to be usb 2 ports and we have a reset button right there hope we are not gonna be hope we are not gonna need that and on the back it says that this is an h96 pro the cpu is an s912 the operating system is android 7.1 3 gigs of ram 32 gigs of ROM made in China so let's see uh, did I mention the box I think I skipped the box they they, they make it look pretty cool uh, unfortunately there is an ugly piece of tape over this one but the box is really nice and um, shiny uh, gold letters here never mind I'm not gonna be using the box it just gives a good feel when you open something and even the packaging is um, is well thought of. Um, power supply, 
these are usually 5 volt 2 amps let's see if we are right about that uh, it could be less maybe the box uses less power that wouldn't be a bad thing well i see a problem here um, I see that I've gotten an American one, so but it's 5 volts, 2 amps, so I was right there. But oh, we don't have these plugs here in Denmark, but I am sure I can find a converter somewhere. Let's see, and it did also label here, it says US, so that's a US plug. It is able to handle from 110 volts and all the way up to 240 volts AC. So a converter here and it's also good for the European Union and the rest of the world. Uh, funny enough, when you order it, when you get a TV box like this, there is always these HDMI cables. So that's mighty nice of them. Um, must admit, I have a lot of them now. So, but it's cool that it's there. Then it comes with the regular standard remote control here. Pretty normal one. Um, no batteries included. Remote, thank you. And there is a user manual. Um, that's not a big deal. It's not as if there is a lot of stuff to know about this. Uh, power issues, charging, cleaning, something about adjusting the screen. Um, yeah cool also whoops i talked the nice banggood representative into sending this remote control along i am um, well when i had to decide which which product to go for uh, um, he suggested different things i of course um, picked the best things that uh, i could find i was watching other people doing youtube videos and this remote control was um, was recommended so um, I asked if, if it would be okay to um, to see this as well and this is um, it's it's for a completely different box but it's a remote control that has a keyboard on one side and it has a remote control on the other side and yeah it's just it's just cool so we're gonna have a look at that as well it uh, it's really meant for the well there is a little leaflet here and it, it, it's meant for the TV boxes called NEO and there's a whole streamline of NEO boxes and I do know that Banggood also has these boxes and they also have different uh, keyboards and touchpads and stuff for controlling this and um, this was recommended in a YouTube video so I picked that one as well so uh, it's not a Danish keyboard I don't know if that's gonna be messing with me at some point I'll have to figure that out um, it has batteries one battery there and the other battery is on the other side but there is also this dongle that you put in the, your device like here and we could just put that in here there and that would be able to communicate with the keyboard here so uh, well let's definitely connect this I need to go chop up some batteries somewhere I hope I have those in stock okay so I did manage to find a couple of batteries they are not the same kind but well I think they it will be fine so there one of them down and the other one Let's see if there is a power on and off somewhere. Right. No. Any lights? Yeah, it's blinking. Funny enough, I can't see that with my own eyes, but I can see it on the screen on the monitor that it's blinking. So nice. Uh, this is a special remote. It's not just a remote. It's also one of those remotes that can feel what you're pointing at. So you can use it as a mouse on the screen. It has a six axles gyroscope and accelerator acceleration meter ish thing um, so i am looking very much forward to trying that so i hope it works right out of the box over here is my um well it's my home cinema setup i have a projector here it's uh, far from a 4k projector it's actually only 1280 times 720 it goes down i have an amplifier here uh, for a 
well there's a subwoofer here and there are some loudspeakers around <laughs> one of them is there and one of them is there and there and I have a screen here about two and a half meters wide that I use uh, for watching films um, from the projector so the projector goes in it's an old projector so it comes out from a VGA connection and I have a converter from VGA to HDMI and it goes in right now I'm using this rather old B-Link um, TV box I have two of those um, I actually have plans with one of those so um, yeah we're gonna replace this B-Link uh, with the new H96 Pro 4K Ultra HD TV box S912 awesome so we're gonna try that so in this case it's fairly simple uh, because this old B-Link uh, it kind of has the same connections so I have a mouse here it's it's a regular um, mouse I think I'm gonna plug that in I might need that for uh, for configuring this so we'll just attach that as well there and we'll steal the power cable from the old one so that I don't have to go find that converter there and the network connection go in there there click that's the right sound then we have the HDMI cable I have this little converter here probably also available maybe it looks like this maybe it's in, in a new version on Banggood so let's plop that in there and um, I use this SP diff connection for uh, light sound thing uh, to the amplifier so we're gonna pop that in as well there um, I did not find a power on anywhere so it's probably powers itself on I kind of have my setup made so that uh, the amplifier controls everything if I want to watch uh, a movie I turn on the amplifier and that will turn on the box here and it will also send power up to the projector that also means that when I power off the amplifier everything is off so nothing is using power I have tested the amplifier that it doesn't draw a lot of power in standby and it has this nice feature so cool so now we need to power on the projector it's I think the batteries are low on this so sometimes I have to press a couple of times and it takes a little bit you can hear it okay so as mentioned my projector is pretty old it's at least 10 years old so it was not able to catch the signal from the the new TV box so here I have a I have a camera monitor that is able to handle that amount of resolution so we need to um, see if we can convince it to throw us a lower signal let's see it has a mouse because I have configured that mouse so we should be able to um, well settings would be a great place to start looking for that and where do we go and fix the screen okay looking for it for quite a bit so um, I just want to share where I found uh, I found it here under apps and then I droid settings I went in under and then there is display and here we can set the screen resolution and I'm guessing very much that that is what we want so here we have right now it's set to 1080p 60 Hertz it's probably because that's that's what this screen can um, can do so if we uh, go down in resolution I am guessing that uh, 720 50 Hertz will be good we have a picture so we'll press OK to that maybe 60 Hertz is also okay I'll try that one instead it's a little bit better so so now when this is coming out I hope that my projector will be able to uh, handle that I got the picture on the wall here and after a bit of tinkling I also figured out the remote 
It, um, this remote is meant for, for the TV boxes of the same name, Mint X, Mint X, I'm not sure. This is the A2 remote control and I found if I press this button, I get an air mouse and I can move the mouse around just using the remote here. And um, I have to remember not to use that button again because that just turns off the mouse and it doesn't move anymore. So, but well, I can press it again. So um, I have the time up here and it's uh, PM. And uh, we don't use that time, we use the 24 hour settings. So if we press uh, settings here, time and date, we can um, turn that on, 24 hours time. There. Also the time zone, we are in a different time zone. So let's see if we we don't have no, there's no Copenhagen, but I do know that I am in the same time zone as Amsterdam. So we'll borrow that one. And it didn't remove the PM though. I mm, wonder why that is. So, but now I can go and I can watch my YouTube if that was what I wanted. I have logged in, so let's see if it can see, see my channel. Okay, so we can press search here. Set the mouse up here, change to the keyboard on the other side, press uh, my... Let's see if it figures that one. There I am. So I can go and pick the, the video I want to see. I want to see my channel here. Uh, that one. And I get presented with my videos on my channel. Hmm, okay. This is not stupid. This is pretty cool. So the box itself comes with uh, well the normal preloaded stuff. Uh, over here is Netflix, YouTube, and Google Play. Uh, there are more apps. If we go into the app box here, we can see that Chrome is installed. Mm, clock. Yeah. Facebook, Gmail, KDMC. That was, uh, I would have expected Cody here. I don't know if they have changed the name or if this is a uh, replica of the same thing. Um, then we have something called Movie Player, which we might have to use when we go test this further. I'm not able to show you 4K resolution or anything, how good it is to play video on this screen because we don't, we're not able to stress it in any way. We have Netflix again, if we go further down, we see that it comes with Twitter as well and something called wireless update. Um, I tried that, it's just said that I was on the newest version, mm, don't know what that is. And it also comes with TeamViewer, I've never seen that on a Android device before, so well, yeah, I don't like it too much to be on there, but well. It's on there right now. So, of course, all the Android apps, I can install more. So we could go to the Play Store, and I have just uh, searched here for this Android performance test, unto two benchmark, so that's a pretty normal one. And we'll try and install that to see how fast this Android box is. And it's downloaded. Okay, it's done installing, so now we can just open it and run a benchmark on this device. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Access photos on your device. There is nothing on the device. Okay, I had to uh, allow it to access my phone, which um, which it can't. But um, why, why do you need to blah, 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 blah. Ugh. So we need to install another one. And this one is way bigger. Okay. I managed to run a test in this Antutu benchmark program here um, and it scored 55,653. Um, I didn't think it did the test very well, kept telling me that the program was not answering doing the first bit, but well, I haven't found where I can do it again. So, But over here I found something cool on the details and I can pick CPU up here and I can see the eight cores in here 
that's pretty cool that there is actually a course and you can see that the these are right now one gigahertz um, and they kind of go up and down as needed got to wonder what it's doing over there using 12 percent um, yeah and it also has an overall uh, percentage and real-time load so you can see how much the processor is doing down here cool little graphs a bit much for a TV box really so my plan is really to use this TV box here with my projector and also have the remote here with the projector but I'm gonna bring this box with me to my playhouse during the weekend and I want to see this on my 4k TV see if it can really run 4k television uh, movies and I do think I have the last boxes I've tried I've tried a version of the Martian which is in 4k and encoded with H265 in a 10-bit version none of the boxes that I've tried so far have been able to to run that movie and um, so I'm gonna give it a try on this one as well so you're gonna get another video with this one and I'm gonna bring the remote too it has taken me a couple of hours at least to make this video and I really got the hang of that air mouse just pointing the mouse out into the air and moving it around and um, point and click hey I can get used to that it's gonna be it's gonna be cool and uh, just turning it around and I have a keyboard I tend to always turn it the wrong way around it's just how I'm built I guess um, so I need to uh, <laughs> I need to figure that out but it, it's irritating when I do that it's upside down but that's me now it's upside down the other way so um, links in the description if you want to go check all of this out on Banggood I'm not making one buck of that but I'll put the links in the description uh, so you can see uh, what it costs at present time at Banggood right now it's $69.99 uh, prices change all the time so um, it might vary quite a lot I think when I uh, was talking to the, the representative from Banggood it was it was less I think it was 50 something dollars so the price varies quite a bit uh, the remote what is the remote let's see what the remote is right now so the remote is right now $31.56 the remote is not really built for this box but it works very well on that box as well so um, you'll get another video where I will try this out on my 4k TV also I want to see if I can edit video on it not edit video on this one but do a remote console over to my um, editing server and edit video that way like normally I use Windows and remote desktop to a uh, editing server I want to try that on this Android box see if I can remote desktop out of that one and to a Windows server and how that will work so next video thank you very much for watching do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye